the city bus can try your patience, especially when you think there's one coming, but it's nowhere to be seen. Six is on your side tonight, digging into why some bus riders are having problems with Metro Transit. Arbella Caracta joins us live with what's being done to make your ride smoother. John Aaron, this is one of the more popular bus stops here at 24th and Dodge. I waited with a viewer earlier this week to see if her bus ever showed. It's great when it's on time. It hasn't even taken off yet. Frustrating when it's not. Nine to fiver Marilyn Jenkins dealt with a late bus a few times a month. They let me change my schedule so that I could catch the bus. But now it's been almost every day. She's had to decide whether to wait or to walk. Walking, she says, makes her nervous about her safety. I have a steel water bottle now, so if I had to, I carry pepper spray. Metro Transit spokeswoman Nicole Ebot says it's been a challenging year. Sometimes you just get hit with things and you have to be nimble and move through them. This graph shows in orange the hours per month Metro Transit was not running a bus when it was supposed to. Last August, they were down 2.1% of the time. This August, that number jumped to 6.9%. Most of the time lately, it's because of a mechanical issue or there just wasn't a bus. Agencies are struggling all over the place to get parts. Good news. Data shows so far this month, they're on track to be much better. It's taken us months to be able to just stack all of these things together. Here's why. They hired six more technicians, 15 are now on board, and they shifted those workers' schedules to the weekend when more buses are out of service. But until Metro Transit fully addresses the problems, riders like Marilyn Jenkins will be walking home. And in about a week and a half, Metro Transit will be rolling out some new bus schedules to give riders a bit more consistency. On that list is Route 24 for Jenkins. On your side, Bella Caracta, 6 News.